I'm community reporter Carson Wells, and I had the chance to sit down with Colonel Nick Haig, the first Space Force Guardian to be launched into space. I found out more about the research he conducted at the International Space Station and what he's hoping to do with it now that he's back on Earth. Five, four, three, two, one, ignition, full power, and liftoff of crew nine. Go SpaceX. Life changing. Being in space uh, challenges you, your senses on so many different levels. Space Force Colonel Nick Haig touched back down on Earth in March following 170 days in space. His most recent trip was unique because he and a Russian cosmonaut offered transport home to Sonny Williams and Butch Wilmore, who had an extended stay on the International Space Station due to technical problems. We changed our crew complement to empty up two seats uh, with the objective of launching at the end of September to go up and integrate uh, Butch and Sonny into my crew and then conduct what was our originally planned six month uh, mission to the station, which is a normal rotational mission and then come home. While aboard the ISS, he and the rest of the crew conducted research on how to live sustainably in space. I get the privilege of being the hands and the eyes of the research teams on the ground that can't be there. Everything from growing food, uh, growing lettuce, trying to figure out how do we, how do we grow the crops that are going to sustain us when we start to go deeper into space. Colonel Haig tells me that this is something as an aerospace engineer he wouldn't normally get to participate in on Earth. He has been to space four times and says that the main difference between some of his earlier trips and this most recent one is that space is becoming more cluttered with things like satellites. There's a lot of stuff in space and you can see it. Uh, that's why I'm here at Vandenberg, is, is to be able to spend time with the guardians and airmen that are part of Team, team Vandenberg and they're the ones tracking all that stuff. Colonel Haig became a Space Force Guardian in 2021 and says the role is continuing to grow and adapt to the needs of the country. Guardians protect the American way of life. They protect the, for our military, they protect that ultimate high ground. You know, historically, the high ground is a strategic advantage, and, and Guardians are making sure that, that we have that advantage as a nation. At Vandenberg Space Force Base, Carson Wells, KSBY News.